Hi guys, uh, my name is Jason Krugman. I'm class of 2009, um, and uh, I'm really happy to be speaking. It's really nice to be back here and to uh, introduce uh, myself to those of you guys who I have not met before. Um, I, uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit what I was doing before ITP, why I came to ITP, and then kind of where that took me. Um, so I was always really interested in being an artist. I never knew how I was going to do it. I didn't really, still don't really know what that means. Um, but it's always been an attractive concept to me. Um, things have changed and evolved as I've practiced professionally and uh, while I was at ITP and just doing what I was doing before, which was working in banking. Um, and so I thought I would go back to school, maybe go to art school, go get an MFA. I wasn't sure, so I was trying to figure it out. And I was considering different things. And um, think about what getting an MFA meant and going to traditional art school versus going to ITP. And I start seeing these crazy, amazing projects. These are recent examples of what I consider to be crazy, amazing projects coming out of ITP um, versus the traditional media skill set from uh, going to a normal art school. Um, and I saw some work that really inspired me while I was trying to figure out where I was going to go. Um, and one of the people who really inspired me is James Clark, sitting right in the front row. Um, he made these incredible projects, um, one of which I saw at Wired Next Fest, these cubes up there, which James showed you guys before. Um, another person who really inspired me was Ingo Maurer, um, who's an amazing designer, who works a lot with light, works with uh, arranging electricity in three-dimensional space um, with beautiful and atypical materials. Um, and so I started dabbling in sculpture uh, before I came here, and I made this guy. Uh, his name's Freddie. Um, I made him out of uh, duct tape um, and newspaper and built him uh, to model my own body. So it's basically the same size. I tried to make joints and such. Put him up in a tree in the East Village and took pictures of him. Um, and I really liked how it turned out and it was exciting. So when I came here, I started working on these other projects. This is my first project, first year. That's Scott Hoffer, who is one of my collaborators, called Single White Android. Um, after, after a single white female, that weird movie in the 90s about uh, clingy uh, relationships. And so it's a robot who um, basically clings to you and reaches out to you if you walk away from him. He had, uh, Scott did an amazing impression of a lonely guy on the, uh, the face, and the expression changes when you touch him and then take your hand away, the lights uh, kind of respond. Um, so when I was first here, I was making projects trying to get attention, basically, and figure out how to th make things that were interesting to me, but also that people would pay attention to, um, so that I could start to interact with the public and other people. Um, so I made this ridiculous project called Testy Touch, um, which is pretty embarrassing, looking back on it. Um, I, I knew it would be. Um, a lot of people didn't like it because it was stupid and um, kind of gross. Um, and we built this whole website. Um, there it is. It's horrible. It's an interactive sack, sack of testicles. I, I almost feel like I have to present it to embarrass myself now. Um, uh, but it's just a funny thing. And if you have some spare time, you can check out the website later. Um, so this is me work, working on my thesis. I got really into LEDs. Uh, and that's still what I'm working on. Uh, lighting, emitting diodes, making things oftentimes making very, very repetitive things, basically doing what other people wouldn't do uh, just because it's incredibly boring, um, but kind of going past that threshold and hopefully exploring new territory. So I was doing that to make this, which is a wind-sensitive uh, LED array, which is my final project at ITP, and it kind of launched me into uh, working professionally, making artwork or interactive work or lighting or whatever you want to call it. Um, a funny thing happened when I showed it. Somebody from Kanye West's entourage came to the ITP show and blogged about it. And um, so it was on Kanye's blog, and some people from the West Coast doing a music festival production hired me to make larger versions of it for music festivals. So that was kind of my first foray into larger uh, event production and um, making larger pieces. But I was still thinking about how to arrange electricity in three dimensions. This is a really boring but amazing invention, the track light. So how do you safely arrange electricity in space so that you can distribute points of light or distribute anything that needs electricity? The track light was an enormous invention. Um, boring, but I look at it and think about it a lot. Um, these were some other things that I was working on, these same ideas. How do I arrange uh, electricity in space and do interesting things with it? These are these LED mesh breathing pieces. This is uh, silkworm cocoons being used as LED diffusers. And this is a funny thing, I wanted to show you this video. I'm not sure if it's playing, but there are little, um, there are little moths inside there. These other parasitic moths came in and started eating the dead silkworms. So it almost seemed like the whole thing was alive. Really gross, but pretty amazing. Um, I never know who to show this to. Um, sorry, I'll keep
keep going really quickly. So doing more and more LED mesh stuff. Um, these things, new museum uh, projected on the front. These are larger architectural examples of arranging and making pixels uh, in space. Um, this is my sister walking by my first really large installation. This is uh, Claremont University. Um, and the whole building kind of responds to you as you're moving around. Uh, this is a lot of what I'm doing now, is making these kind of intricate uh, light sculpture chandelier things. Uh, and then my first permanent public art installation, which I finished this year, that was in my studio. And these are the, uh, the piece, uh, pieces installed. Okay. Thank you.